Right, I'm going to show you how to get into one of these Bangle.js smartwatches. So um, you probably would have seen that there are screws in around here. So it's quite easy to unscrew this, but it can be difficult to remove this back panel with the straps in place. So I'd always say to just remove the straps. Now it's easy enough to do this. You've got these little holes here um, where there are some pins that go all the way through. So if I just push in here, and move the pin out slightly, it can be a little bit hard to do this the first time. I'll push in here and push this one out. You only have to get it out a little bit and then I'll suggest pulling it out the rest of the way with a, um, a pair of pliers. Okay, so now the strap's out of the way with the pins, uh, we can get into the watch. As easy as um, just unscrewing this all the way around. Uh, I'm using a set of screwdrivers for my fix it, but pretty much anything will work. You do just need a reasonably small screwdriver head. Uh, it's just Phillips. So if we unscrew this and take it out, you can see um, in here on the back, you've got the little pogo pins for the charger that mate up with the gold pins there. Um, then the little window for the um, heart rate monitor to show through. In here, uh, we have a little rubber seal that, that keeps it waterproof. We have this little protective bit of um, film here that we can just take off. Now, if you have a piezo sounder in yours, it will be in this area here. But um, this is the, the place it's connected. So if you want to add a piezo sounder, you can just um, take it, slot it in here between that and the battery and then wire along, uh, sort of one into there, one into there. But uh, we won't do that just yet. You can attach other things to here if you want as well. Uh, but if we want to get further inside this, um, this unit here, the easiest thing to do is to get a pair of um, small pliers and just find somewhere you can put them where you can grasp this bit of plastic, which is, it, you know, it doesn't really do anything in particular. Um, so there's no risk of damaging it. And then you can just move it very gently and take it out. Inside here, you have um, GPS aerial on top. You've got the three buttons. You've got the um, two area touch screen plus the LCD display. And that's it. It's this nice little self-contained unit. And obviously in here is the battery. Uh, in here, you have just the casing with the, um, with the buttons that push through. But you also have this little blanking plate in here. So you can, you can get this plate out if you need to. Um, and that gives you a much, much cleaner area. Now, obviously, if I put that back in, um, you'll see that it's... You can now see some little bits of the circuit board. But you can see a lot more of the screen area as well. So let's put that back in. Again, the easiest way to do this is just to pull it out with a pair of pliers. Then if you want to put this back in, um, the, the mat side of it goes towards the, um, towards the, the front case. And the, um, the bigger area here actually goes, if you're holding it like this with this at the top, the bigger area goes towards the bottom. So it just goes in that way and hooks into these little um, uh, areas that are in here. So if I just poke this back down in here, so you can now um, poke this back in. When you put it in, you're trying to get the, um, the buttons here to match with the, the buttons there and it'll, it'll slot nicely into position when you've, you've got it right. You can just push it down, there you go. And then we want to, um, to put our little protective bit of film back on. And that should go with the flat edge, um, just where the, the charge pins are there. Then we want to put the um, little rubber O-ring 
in there which will help make it waterproof. And finally you just put the top back on and again you're trying to fit those gold connectors to match to match this. And it should should feel pretty sorted when you've actually got it on there on there nicely. And then it's just time to screw it back in. And again, putting the water straps on is, is quite easy. Um, you just poke them back on. The, um, the buckle usually goes at the top near the north on there. And you take a pin, you push it back in. And you usually want something quite hard to press it in with. So I just use the end of a pair of pliers like that. Uh, and you're done. Same with this one. Find the pin. Push it in. And job done. Thanks for watching.